What's up guys and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Essentials. And Essentials is the, one of the best plugins out there. It lets you use tons of commands that any server owner should know how to use. So I'm going to show you how to configure it and use those commands. First thing you want to do on the right it says download. Click that and then click it again. Alright, the download should come down here. And once it's done, open it up. Alright. And then here you have five jars for essentials. Drag these into your plugin folder. Alright, so we're going to restart the server. And I'll show you how to configure all that. You'll see tons of things that say essentials. Alright, so now it's done. We'll go in our plugins folder. And here's essentials. Now we're going to go into the config file. Alright. I recommend getting Notepad++, by the way. And here is the first thing that says essentials global and you can you can uh set the color of an ops name for I think that's red, probably wrong, but you can take a look at the picture and it'll show the different color codes that you can use. And you can set the ops name, like if they're an op, then it'll appear in this color right here. If you wanna and this little dash, little squiggly line will appear next to next to a nickname. You can change whatever you can change it to an asterisk. Change display name if you want them to be able to change their display name. Teleport cooldown. This will prevent users from teleporting just every two seconds it'll it'll, it'll, it'll set a, a time frame from them to continue to teleport teleport delay it'll say the user has to wait five seconds before teleporting that's a teleport delay and now we're going to scroll a little bit down spawn mob limit some of these stuff is pretty self-explanatory by the way here if you actually want this to be an overridden command you have to remove this little hashtag and once it's, the hashtag is removed, then it'll, this will go into effect. So if you see a hashtag, make sure you remove it if you want it to be in effect. Disable commands. I don't want that disabled, so I'll put the hashtag in front of it. And social spy is usually a command that you use, like slash social spy, and it'll let players be able to see even if they're using like whisper or message it'll let them be able to see what people are messaging to other players and we'll scroll down a little and kits I'll show you how to set a kit see here's the name of the kit tools D tools you can change the name to whatever you want like starter starter kit starter that's the name of the kit and delay delay of the cooldown right here delay goes by seconds so I have to wait 10 seconds before they can use it again and then this is the item you know like the item number item ID and then this and then this number is the amount so the amount of this item right here alright we'll keep scrolling down and then here is the enabled signs which means if you remove the hashtag then it lets players create a color sign you know a sign with color or a sign that allows player to buy items but you have to remove the hashtag if you want them to be able to use that and you can take a look at this website it'll show all the signs that you can use and how to use them 
So let me put this hashtag back. Um, per warp permission. If you set this to true, then a player has to have permission to use warp. Auto AFK is the amount of seconds before a player's AFK, and then auto AFK kick is the amount of seconds before a player gets kicked from being AFK too long. So negative one means it's it's not in effect. It doesn't matter what you put. Negative one will mean nothing, pretty much. That's pretty self-explanatory. Central's home. You can set multiple homes. Default three homes. Central's eco starting balance. This is the amount of money that a player starts with when once they join. So let's say you want a player to have thirty dollars when they join. Just type in thirty. Command cost. This will charge a person to use a command. So let's say you move the hashtags, then using this command right here will cost them a thousand five hundred dollars. And all you have to do is change this word to a different command. Uh, chat radius is explanatory. You can change the format of how the name and the messages look. Protect. If you have a database, you can protect. Like MySQL database, you can change that and set it up here. If you don't have a database, then just don't worry about that. And then prevent. If you want to prevent lava from flowing in your game, you change any of these to true. So let's say you don't want creeper explosion, you set it to true. Sometimes this doesn't seem to work for me. Even if I do say it true, creepers will still explode. But whatever. Protect all signs. If you want to protect all signs and set that to true, I would if because I want my signs protected. Um anti build anti build that prevents a player from building in my server I want everyone to build so I'm gonna set that to false blacklist this these are blocks item IDs of blocks that players cannot place because it is on the blacklist and it's under placement players cannot break you'd have to put the item ID here and then a comma for if you want to add another one Newbies. This is the message that comes for any new player. Kit tools. This is the, uh, the kit that a newbie gets when they join the server. So that's pretty much it. Go ahead and save that and restart your server again. And we'll go. And I'll show you what to do in the commands inside the game. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna, if you wanna have yourself use these commands, make sure you add yourself as op. Don't forget about that. So type in your name here and save it and restart your server again. Once you're here in your game, I'm going to show you how to use tons of commands. And if you click the link, click the link in the description, and you can see the commands for yourself. But we'll start with game mode slash GM creative. You can use one, which also means creative. And see, now I'm in creative mode. And we can use slash item to generate any item. Let's say log 64. So it'll give me 64 logs. You can give a player an item. Give. I'll type in my name because no one is online log 64. So I'll give that player 64 logs. I just gave myself logs. You type slash AFK slash AFK again. Set 
home. This will set my home. I can also set spawn. And this will set the spawn for every player that joins. So if I type in spawn, then I'll automatically go back to the spot. And you can set a warp. Set warp. Um blah, I guess. I really don't know, but yeah, slash set warp blah. And then you can type slash warp sear all the warps. Type slash warp blah. Then I'll teleport to this warp. Um some more commands you can type slash time day slash time night slash weather ooh, weather um stormy sun okay slash weather sun you can see all the types of weather by just typing slash weather you can tor you turn it either storm or sunny um yeah that's just the basics of essentials so thanks for watching this video i hope i helped you guys out comment rate subscribe do whatever thanks for watching